What's, What's up, up YouTube? YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. It's the Choose here from Choose to Explore, where we teach you how to see the world and save a dollar. So here we are back in Orlando for another video, and this time, if you can't tell by the mini airs, we're going to Disney. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, we're going to Epcot. So any day in Disney has to start super early. Yes. So we're bright and early up here at seven o'clock to get there at 8.30 because we want to see as much as we can in one day. Hopefully get to go to all the rides and check out and see what you can do in one day at Epcot. So stay tuned y'all, you don't want to miss this one. So we got here around 8.20, the park opens around 8.30 today, but it really defers based on the day. So just check what time it is when you open. But it also cost us $25 in order to park, but be nice to the guys because they might be nice to you as well. Okay. So let's head on in. So as soon as you get in the park, you have to run and try to get to some of these rides before the lines are there. So let's go. And our first ride is the Frozen Ever After ride, and it's in no way in the World Showcase. So let's check this one out here, y'all. Just leaving the Frozen ride, and it was yeah. really cool. It had it. <laughs> it had really cool decor. It felt like I was in nowhere, so yes. one of those countries. Um, definitely beautiful decor, and the ride was nice too. It um, had mini really drop. yeah one mini drop, and also little you go splash. yep, and you also go backwards a little bit as well. So yeah, but pretty, little kids are on it. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I'm scared of heights, and it was not problematic. Yeah. Um, but it was really cool um, decorations and everything. So I'd highly recommend it and it only took us about 30 minutes to get through. After the frozen ride, we head to the other side of the park, to the land, to visit Soren. Another positive about going early is it's typically lower temperatures. Alright, so we're just getting out of Soren around the world and that is one of my favorite rides in all of Disney. I'm not a big into roller coasters and things, so I love the simulations. And it really made me feel like I was there, especially as a drone operator, to see all the places around the world and just to kind of feel like I was really there. What you think about it, Tristan? It was good, it was loud. All the places we went to, it was nice. Yeah. So, let's head to the next spot. Following Soren, we went to Space Earth, which is a slow-paced, interactive ride that talks about the innovations of mankind. Although this was not at the top of our list, there was no line, so we squeezed it. Disney can be expensive, <laughs> but here we are at Club Pool and you can have a delicious soda for free and you can just try all the different flavors. From around the world. Yes. Don't My try the Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> that one, I mean, try them all just try, to get a Try thing. the Beverly. But my, my favorite was the Dominican Republic one. It tastes my, like a golden champagne. My favorite was Madagascar. It tasted very creamy, cream soda. What you like, Tristan? My favorite was the Philippines one. The Philippines, okay. My favorite is the Russian, the cucumber sprite. Cucumber oh yeah, sprite. the cucumber sprite That's was really good too. Good too. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. All right, so now it's about 10 o'clock. We've been here for about an hour and a half. And it's really important that you guys come early because the park is really filling up now. The lines are getting longer. So if you come in here around that 8.30 time when it opens, you'll be able to see a lot. We already saw three different rides in the hour and a half that we're here. So make sure to get here. So now we're at Mission Space. It has two options. You can either do the easy one or the little bit harder. It was a five minutes on the easy one, so we just decided to do it. I'll tell you what it's like. Hello. How many? Four. Four right up here, number one, please. Hello. Yeah. Alright, so we're just getting done with the Mission Space less intense version. Yes. Trust me, they make sure you know that it's the less intense version because they say it the whole time. There's a green side and an orange side, so green is the easiest side. Yes. So, Maybe uh, too easy. <laughs> but it's basically like a flight simulator, like you're going out of space. And it's really cool because we really felt like we were out of space and had to do missions. Each one of us were assigned a role, and I was the pilot, and you were the... I was the engineer. And we made sure that we got back safely. One piece. And so it was a really cool ride, and I highly recommend that one as well. And it's a really fun thing to do after the ride. There's like a little play area for kids from 2 to 12. So if the kids go with you, you can just go play around after. And I highly suggest it for them. So 
Um, they also have a really cool gift shop where they have different like space things and like space and food candy. So check it out. Oh, hey, go to power. Hey, go to power. Hey, go to power. It was so fast. I liked it. I had to hold on to my hat. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy. I had to hold on to my ear. I think, about you? I think it was really cool because um, even though it was a long wait time, which was like 50 minutes, um, it was really interactive. So we were able to design our own cars and see different cars. So even though it's a long wait time, it's not boring. Um, Tristan, what's your take on Test Track? Uh, it was real fast. That real fast. Nervous. We were zooming, right? Yeah. You were nervous? Yeah. At first. Before <laughs> no drops, but very fast. Yes. Loved it. Alright, so we just did majority of the rides that we came here to do. And now we're going to go around Epcot. The world. We go all around the world and see the different countries. Our first country is going to be Mexico. Viva Mexico. So I love the theme of this place. It's like you're in a Mexican shop, La Tienda. And it's just really cool to see. What's also really interesting is that they have this right here, Gran Fiesta Tour. So we're in Mexico and you know we gotta try some Mexican food. So we got some chicken tacos and also some guacamole with some chips. The guacamole has like mango on it and pumpkin seed too. So I've it's never had special. Like yeah. So she says she's never had, a, she's had a lot of nachos, but never with guacamole and pumpkin seeds and mango. <laughs> and of course, the ladies had to get frozen margaritas. Yes, I got strawberries, she got mango. So my lovely mother-in-law right here was trying to do the drink around the world, but tell them how that went. She went to her first country, which is Mexico, and what happened then? That was it. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> one drink and that's all. Not even one drink, two sips and she's done. <laughs> there you go. I didn't know Disney was going to try to get me drunk. <laughs> On the first country at that. First country? Look at her. <laughs> Next up in China, we got the beef bao bun and two boba teas. Let's enjoy. Liv got hungry, so we're back at Lotus Blossom in China and we're having the vegetable stir fry with the chicken pasta. So Let's enjoy. Now we're here in Germany and what y'all gotta do is try the caramel popcorn. It's the best popcorn I've ever had here in Disney. And now we're in Germany. You know we gotta try the famous pretzel. Look at that. Jumbo pretzel. This thing was $11, but I hope it's good. And now we're heading to the Guardians of the Galaxy. So, in order to get on this, it's actually a virtual queue. And there's two times you can get it. One at 7 a.m. and one at 1 a.m. So, yes, yeah, 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. So, we got the one at 1 p.m. And now it's our turn to wait. So, let's check it out. This is the newest ride in Disney. So, I hope it's a good one, guys. So stay tuned here. All right, Tristan, talk to me about it. <laughs> it was crazy. I thought it was just going to be a smooth ride. We started going backwards like and going then back. it started spinning. <laughs> it was like Space Mountain. Uh -huh. yeah, I love it. My favorite ride. My favorite ride. Favorite ride. Listen, I'm not going to hold you. I had this hat on and it was a bad idea because the whole time I was trying to be scared but I couldn't because my hat was going to pull off. This is a fast, thrilling ride. 
if you're not, there weren't any real drops, like little drops, but nothing. I'm scared of heights, and I wasn't too too scared. But the wind, the speed, I was it tearing. Was you don't want to miss this one. Yeah. You get on the virtual queue. Get on this ride. Get on this one. Just say you blink, buddy. Yeah, you did a hard blink. I had to you blink. I had to have fast though. He passed out on a ride because I I closed my eyes and then I opened my eyes and we were somewhere else. <laughs> Don't listen to that. It was the best ride here. Listen, my, we really went to another galaxy. <laughs> they transported us for real. Soren is still my favorite. Soren is still what? your favorite. Soren is my favorite. Then this. Then Guardians. Guardians. Test track. Then test track. I guess. All right, Guardians test track frozen. Okay. I don't know why Frozen is on. I like Frozen. After going on a ride, Tristan, you deserve a churro. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I mean, as y'all can see, it's raining here in Epcot. So, it's the perfect time to explore and get wet. <laughs> this is crazy. So we're here in Japan and these markets are so cool to see all the different parts of Japanese culture and they have food here, they have anime here. If you guys get caught in the rain like we did, this is the place to be. So be sure to check this out in Epcot. Tristan, did we pick a good day to come? No. <laughs> it's raining cats and dogs, but hopefully that means that there's not a lot of people on the rides because We'll try to go to all the rides now while we got while we can. Okay, so it is currently about 8:30, and the fireworks start at 9, and it should be a spectacular um, firework display because it is the 50th anniversary here at Walt Disney World. So Epcot. at Epcot, actually. So look at this beautiful globe. Let's hope it's spectacular because we are tired. <laughs> And after a long day in Epcot, I mean, we spent over 12 hours in Epcot. We're finally heading home back to our hotel and it was an amazing time. I mean, Epcot is one of my favorite places just because the fusion of fun rides and adventures with culture, travel, and people. So thank you all so much for checking out my channel. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next one.